Hello and God bless. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Muslims often call us liars when we try to read the Quran and see what the Quran specifically says. Now, when we read the Quran as it is, they still call us liars. But when they try to quote our Bible scripture, they love to misquote it or not read it in context. Now, we're going to show you today that we actually don't misquote anything when we read the Quran. And we were going to show you how translations of the Quran are nothing but lying and deception. It's lies and deception. And I'm going to prove it to you today by reading the Arabic and translating directly from the Arabic Quran. Now, today's topic is going to be how Maryam bint Omran, the sister of Aaron and Moses. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the historical disaster that Muhammad created in the Quran, calling Maryam the sister of Aaron and the daughter of Imran, which is a at least 1500 year historical mistake because Muhammad had no clue who Mary was, the mother of Jesus, and he had no clue who the real Jesus was. As we know, we Arabic speaking Christians do not call him Isa, we call him Yesu al Masih. And in the Aramaic, it is Yeshu Mshihu, Jesus Christ. There is no thing called Isa. Let us go to the Quran to show you how the Muslims always lie about what the Quran actually says. And we are going to prove to you today that Allah is actually the father of Isa. Let us start this teaching. If you have any women or children near you, please hide them. Hide them because this is going to be a very explicit and detailed topic. Hide your children and women, for God's sakes. <laughs> Let us start. Now, if there are any women or children, as I mentioned earlier, please close your ears. Try not to listen to this teaching of today because we're going to show you that the Quran and the fake prophet of Islam is actually insulting Mary, the mother of Jesus, by saying really nasty stuff about her in the Quran. What can we do? This is the Quran, the filthy Quran of Allah and his prophet. This is the Quran of the Muslims. If we go to chapter 21, 91, chapter al Anbiya, chapter 21, ayah 91, it says, وَالَّتِي أَحْسَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ رُوحِنَا Now I try to use two translations for this Arabic text of the Quran. I'm going to read for you the very deceptive and lying translation called Sahih International. Sahih International is the most and often used translation by non-Arabic speaking Muslims. And we're going to show you that they should never ever read this translation because this translation was translated by three women. And we know what the Prophet of Islam says about women. They are brain deficient. They are basically half brained. So why would you even put your trust in three women who are half-brained according to the Prophet of Islam. But that's off topic. So Sahih International says, and the one who guarded her chastity, so we blew into her through our angel and we made her and her son a sign for the worlds. Now if you noticed, I did not read the words between the brackets because those words are not inside the Quran. So that's deception number one. And 
not only that the Quran in the Arabic does not say chastity now the women and children close your ears because the Quran does not say chastity it says vagina whose vagina the vagina of Mary and our angel is also not mentioned in the Quran because it says فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ رُوحِنَا Our spirit. Where does it say angel? Or our angel? Nowhere. Right? So, I also gave you this translation. It says, from Abdul Halim's translation, Remember the one who guarded her chastity, we breathe into her from our spirit and made her and her son a sign for all people. This is a more accurate translation, but still not very accurate enough. Because again, this liar is using chastity. It's not saying chastity in the Quran, because farjaha is vagina. So this word should have been vagina. So the Quran actually says that Allah is blowing inside the vagina of Maryam. We breathe. Who is we? Allah. Who is talking in the Quran, Muslims? Allah talking in the Quran, right? Allah is the one who is always talking in the Quran according to the Muslims. It is the speech of Allah. That's what Muslims have always claimed. The Quran is the speech of Allah. And when you see we, it means Allah is the one speaking. So Allah breathed into the vagina from his spirit, our spirit, whose spirit? Allah's spirit. Now who is the one, who is the father who impregnates a woman? It's the father of the baby, right? So as you see, if Allah is the one who made Maryam pregnant, then Allah is the father of Isa, right? Who they call Jesus. Right? It makes sense, right? If I make a woman pregnant and that woman gets a baby, that means I'm the father. It's not angel Jibreel, it's Allah himself who is breathing into Maryam from his own spirit. Here Allah actually has a spirit. So Muslims have to do all kind of gymnastics, adding to their Quran, which is haram. Remember, bid'ah, which is innovating, is haram act in Islam. You cannot add to Islam. You cannot innovate in Islam. So why are they adding to their own Quran in their translation? Words that are not there, as you see. So the father of Isa in this case is Allah because he's the one who made Maryam pregnant from his own spirit. We, from our spirit. Did you catch it guys? And on top of that, the Quran is actually insulting Maryam, talking about her vagina. What a disgusting, filthy, satanic book the Quran is. This is also mentioned in Chapter 66, Ayah 12. Chapter 66, Ayah 12. And it says, وَمَرْيَمَ إِبْنَةَ عُمْرَانَ أَلَّتِي أَحْسَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا From our spirit. Again it says, I gave you two translations. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity. Again, a false translation. It should have been vagina. And we blew into her, in, in her, through our angel. But this is again a false translation. That's not what the Quranic text says in the Arabic. It does not say angel. فَنَفَخْنَ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا From our spirit. Our spirit. Whose spirit? Allah's spirit. Who is blowing? Allah is blowing. فَنَفَخْنَا We are blowing. Right? Here is another translation. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, she guarded her chastity. 
again, it's not Mary, it's Maryam, right? So they translated Mary to deceive the Arabic, non-Arabic speaking Muslims and maybe also Christians or Jews who read the Quran. It says Maryam, it doesn't say Mary. You see how they are lying about the name? Wa Maryama, Maryam, not Mary, different woman, different person. So, chastity is not there, it's vagina. And again, who is blowing? Who is doing the blowing inside the vagina of Mary? It is Allah, we. They say we is the royal we, right? The royal we, we. Which is false also again, but let us not go off topic too much. So it says, we, Allah, is blowing from His spirit, our spirit. Here, this is a better translation as you see. Here they are lying and adding our angel. And here it does not say angel as you see. This is a little bit more accurate. So as you see guys, we showed you from two different chapters. From chapter 66 and chapter 21, Surah Al-Anbiya, where it says that it's Allah who is doing the blowing from His own spirit. He's the one who makes Mary pregnant. And the one who makes the woman pregnant must be the father of the baby, right? And we showed you that when Muslims translate the Quran, they are always using deception and lies to deceive the people who do not know Arabic. As you see, it's very important to know Arabic. To dissect what the Quran actually says. So please download this video, share it around on social media to expose the lies and deception of Muslims. And as you see, we prove to you that Allah is the father of Isa because He's the one who did the blowing in the vagina of Mary. Sorry for this explicit topic of today, but this is what it is. This is the nasty, disgusting Quran of Allah insulting the mother of Jesus, who they call is Isa. Thank you for watching. God bless. And hopefully we can see each other again very soon.